Hey, Kelly. Hey. Here to see Jessica? Uh, I saw her and the baby earlier. I just came from hanging with Natalie. Oh, I still can't believe they both had their babies on the same night. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> well, congratulations, Uncle. How's the baby? Good. It's a scrappy little guy. Jessica's isn't too bad either. Yeah, I poked my head in a little earlier. Jess and Brody were both fast asleep. Yeah, they gotta be pretty tired. Yeah, no kidding. But you know what? I'll catch them later. See ya. Hey. How are you? Last time I saw you... Yeah. I made a total fool of myself. I show sure Joey that picture of Aubrey with some other guy. Don't be so hard on yourself. If Joey doesn't want to believe his fiance is cheating on him, he's the fool. Except his fiance isn't cheating. The guy in the picture, he's Aubrey's brother. Are you crazy? I'm meeting Joey here. What if he saw us? I think we're a close family. I'm serious. What are you even doing here? Your fiance invited me. Oh, hey, gorgeous. Hi. Cutter, how'd you make it? I'm really looking forward to getting to know my future brother-in-law. So Joey confronted Aubrey with the magazine picture, and not only did she tell him the man in the picture was her brother, he confirmed it himself, in person, right there in Aubrey's hotel room. So now Joey's all upset because he hurt Aubrey's feelings by not trusting her, and he basically told me to stay out of his life. I don't get it. I saw the photo. Those two were not acting like brother and sister. I know. It looked pretty... Sexual. Exactly. Even Doreen doesn't believe they're related. What do you think? Wex, you know what I think. That Joey and I belong together, but maybe... Maybe what? Maybe I am creating problems for Joey and Aubrey because deep down I want to believe that Joey feels like he belongs with me too. You didn't answer my question. Do you think that Aubrey and the guy in the magazine are really brother and sister? Hell no. I think Aubrey's a lying little bitch. You are so sweet to make an effort with my brother. I'm just sorry that he won't be in town for long. Don't worry. I'm not rushing off anytime soon. Well, you gotta at least stay here for the wedding, right? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yes. But uh, from what I hear, it might not be happening too soon. Your dad has a problem with you marrying my little sister. I didn't think Aubrey would have had a chance to fill you in about that. We don't have any secrets. Well, it's it's just that my family can be uh, complicated. Which family isn't. But the old Wentworth tribe give you Buchanan's a run for your money. Isn't that right, Aubrey? Yeah, I don't know about that. My father has a problem with anyone he considers an outsider coming into the family. He's convinced that everyone is after the family fortune. He's a lot like my grandfather in that way. The type. Yeah. Well, whenever one of his sons wanted to marry someone he objected to, Asa, grandfather threatened to throw them out without a cent and completely cut them out of his will. No kidding. Yeah. So I'd like to get my father's blessing, but even if I don't, I'm still marrying Aubrey. I mean, I don't care if we have to live in a tent down by the Lantano River and <laughs> eat catfish for the rest of our lives. I don't give a damn about the family fortune. And I know Aubrey doesn't either. I don't know how Aubrey managed to snow Joey, but I am not convinced the guy in the picture is her brother. It's an easy way to find out. Is that a laptop in your bag? Thank you for the spot. Anytime. Um, I'm gonna go grab some water. Do you do you want some? No, I'm good. You no. sis? No, thanks. All right, we'll be right back. Stop it! I can't help it. Every time I see Jojo kiss you, I just get this uncontrollable urge to remind you who you really love. Trust me, I know. All right, then let's hurry this along. Let's clean him out before the old man cuts him off. Can you stop being jealous for one second? Our problem right now is Kelly Kramer. She wants to make trouble for me with Joey. If she finds out you're not really my brother... I've got that handled, okay? I told you, I'll take care of Kelly. Hey! hey. Looks like your yoga class is about to start. Oh, good. I better get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the steam room. What about you, Cutter? Uh, you know, yoga actually sounds pretty good. I can use a little downward dog right now. Hmm. No kidding. 
Too bad my class is just for women. See? Now you got no choice. Come on, possibly give us a chance to, you know, become better acquainted with each other. Sounds like a plan. Right. Bye, Ops. So, are you sure this information is correct? These are official records that I've hacked into. So it's true? According to these records, Aubrey Wentworth does have a brother named Cutter. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's not it, is it? No. You know what? It is more important than ever that I find out the truth about Aubrey. Right now, Joey hates me. And the only way I'm going to get back on his good side is by proving I am right. But you aren't right, at least not about this. Aubrey is hiding something, Rex. And I intend to find out what it is. Oh, I was just roaming around, and taking pictures, looking for something meaningful to, sh to shoot. And then, I, you know, I found something. One person, actually, your sister. I don't know, she, she got me, like, right here. It was... Anyway, what about you? What were you doing before you came to Landview? Eh, just bumming around. A little skiing, a little sailing. Mm. Oh. So what kind of work are you in? I've had my hand in many ventures. <laughs> Nothing illegal, but, uh, okay. you know, I haven't really settled on one thing, though. It's kind of why I'm the black sheep of the family. Yeah. Well, there's something to be said for holding out for the right thing. I've been lucky, though. You know, money's come my way, just by yeah. chance. Well, sorry, I don't mean it to seem like I'm giving you the third degree or anything. Actually, isn't that my job? I mean, <laughs> you're marrying my sister. <laughs> All right, well, what do you want to know? I really only have one question for you. Shoot. What's up with you and Kelly Kramer? Kelly, wait. Aubrey, hi. Maybe we should skip the pleasantries. Mind telling me why you went to Joey with some magazine picture claiming that I was cheating on him? Aubrey, I am sorry. It was all a big misunderstanding. I saw the photo, and I guess it was just misinterpreted. Why don't we forget it ever happened, okay? Uh-uh, no. You don't get to try to ruin my life and then shrug it off like nothing happened. We're gonna have this out right now, once and for all. Aubrey, there's nothing to have out. I made a mistake, I said I was sorry, and I meant it, but you see, you never really mentioned that you had a brother. I don't have to answer to you about my life or anyone in it. Does Joey know about this brother of yours before you had explained to him about that picture? I thought you understood that Joey wants me and not you. I thought you weren't going to try to make trouble for us. I'm not the one making trouble. You're the one with the secret life. What do you know about me? Nothing. Except you were out partying with your brother when you were supposed to be home, sick, in bed. You like using that excuse a lot, don't you? Now, if I had any doubt that there was more to your story, that's gone now. How do you know Kelly? I don't. I know, but I was there when uh, you told Aubrey that she's the one that showed you that magazine photo of right. me and my sister. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then, then you went to go talk to her about it, and Aubrey told me a little bit about Kelly. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you guys used to be married? Well, that was a long time ago. Well, so now she's this, like, crazy, jealous, jilted No, ex. no, no, no. Actually, Kelly, is, she's great. She's, she's kind and, and thoughtful and, and caring. No, she used to be... She is my friend. Well, at least I thought she was. I'm just looking out for my sister. You know, I mean, if this woman has it, Look, out for I can't her, speak she... for Kelly. Okay, but all I can say is that I love your, I love your sister very much. It's good to hear. Aubrey and I have this just this incredible connection. You know, I know it's a cliche to say we're soulmates, but there is definitely something special between us. You know, some some feeling that that neither one of us has ever felt before. You know? oh. oh, anyway, I am cooked. And Aubrey's probably done our class, but I'm really glad we had this talk, Cutter. Hey, me too. Yeah, maybe next time you can tell me some of those uh, ventures you're involved in. But I gotta say, I'm glad they're not illegal. Definitely not. Good. <laughs> because if you are gonna be part of this family, you should probably know that my uncle is police commissioner, so... Great. I've got nothing to hide, but if you keep trying to dig up something on me, I will have you arrested as a stalker. Really, go ahead and try it. I mean it, Kelly. Let go of me. Listen to me. You stay out of my life and out of my way, or I swear to God, I will... Ow, ow, ow! You are hurting me! What is going on? I don't know. 
I just, uh, Kelly walked in here and started going off on me. I'm sorry that you can't accept that Joey has moved on, but that's just the way it is. Joey, 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 you know me. I would Yeah, I thought I did. <laughs> Joey! Well, I think you need to go, Kelly. Okay. That I'm gone. That's fine. <gasps> that was so awful. You should have heard the names she was calling me. That doesn't sound like Kelly. She may not be the Kelly that you knew before, but I'm telling you, there's something wrong with her now. You're not doubting me again, are you? No. No, no, of course not. I'm just sorry the whole thing happened. Cutter. Cutter Wentworth. And you must be Kelly Kramer. <laughs>